Happy Friday, Centennial Cougars. I'm Gus McMurray. And I'm Devon Harrison. Thanks for joining us. Prom is now just two weeks away. And the spring fling is tonight. Are you ready? Are you going somewhere April 8th? Yes. Where are you going? To the spring formal. Uh, what's up? A spring formal? Okay, so it's for 9th and 10th grade. You can't go to the prom, but like the spring formal is like kind of like similar. But next year I can go and I'll go to the prom next year. And you can like wear like a cute dress, you know, and like do your makeup and stuff and have your hair looking nice. Yeah. Do you have a plan uh, to go with someone to dress up in something? Yeah. I'm going to go with a friend. Are you excited about it? Yeah, for the most part. Um, Y'all have fun. And Miss Bates, aren't you doing something for a, for a little event for ninth and 10th graders or something? Yes, we have a semi-formal dance this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. It's, uh, it's going to be a dance. There will be two food trucks available. We'll have retro snow and these chicken and cones. Um, and we'll have a DJ. It's not DJ Bates this time. It's an actual DJ for the dance in the cafeteria this time. Is it like Kendrick Lamar or who is it? Hit, well, I wish I could afford him. His name is DJ Fidette. Um, when is it and how much are tickets? Tickets are $10 and it's this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. You can purchase in room 231 or you can purchase at the door or online. And only for 9th and 10th graders? Yes, only for 9th and 10th graders, 11th and 12th graders. You'll be getting dressed up for our fancy prom later this month. Miss Evans, there's this, uh, there's this little sign outside your door that says prom tickets for sale. What's that all about? Um, we have prom coming up on April 23rd for all juniors and seniors. We are super excited about it. Um, it is going to be 7 to 11 p.m. at the Bedford in Nashville. Um, and tickets now are $75 each. 75 Yes, 75 now. Is the Bedford like a fancy place? It is super pretty. You should look up some interior photos online. Um, Landon, are you going to prom? Yep. What What are your plans? Like, why Why are you going to prom anyway? To have fun with my friends. What are you wearing? Uh, tuxedo. I haven't picked it out yet. That's I'm going to do that today. Oh, yeah. nice. Uh, is it going to be what, black on black, black on white? That's what I have to say. I have no idea. All right. Yeah. Who doesn't love Power Monday, but the end of the year is almost here. At least for this year, Power Mondays are officially over. Damari! How do you feel about No More Power Mondays? It make me want to cry, for real. Why you want to cry? Um, How do you feel about No More Power Mondays? Wait, what? No More Power Mondays? Yeah, there's No More Power Mondays the rest of the year. This Monday was the last one. Oh, really? All right, I'm here with... Wayna. Carly. And how do y'all feel about being the last part of Monday? I'm really upset um, because it's just really upsetting. What about you? I'm really upset because my friend Grim, he wears Groutfits every Power Monday, and I think I'm going to miss them a lot. Come on, Graham. Show yourself. How do you feel about it? I'm not going to miss it. Going to Chick-fil-A in the morning and stuff. I'm gonna miss it. And I like your outfits too. I like them. What are y'all gonna miss most? Um, probably the grout fits. Um, probably the grout fits. Is it the same for you? Everyone loves the grout fits. Come yeah. back Power Monday. Yeah, bring it back. How, how do you, yeah, how do you feel about No More Power Monday? I'm, I'm really bummed out. We gotta have Power Mondays. It's the best part of my week, honestly. It makes Mondays a little better. You think they should bring them back? Oh yeah, 100%. We should have them all year, year round. Every no. day, every day. No. You don't like Power Mondays? No. So you, you like them being taken away? Why? Because either way, we still get to wake up at five o'clock. Thank you. I'm here with Logan. How do you feel about No More Power Mondays? Are you serious? Yeah, No More Power. No More Power. Are you no kidding? No More Power Mondays. It's a joke. Monday? Yeah. You're lying. Oh, you're, so stupid. Yeah. you're lying. Yeah, just no just our last one so how do you feel about No More Power Mondays? I'm actually not happy with that. That's like really sad. I love Power Mondays. Now here's Madison with some more news headlines. Thanks guys. We've been making memories all year and now yearbook distribution day is just around the corner.
It will be on April 22nd. If you don't have yours yet, there are about 50 books left, so go ahead and get yours now. To order yours, bring cash or a check made out to CHS to room 221. Next week, the French Honor Society is celebrating French Week. Each day of the week, there will be a different theme. Geography, food, art, literature, slash science, and music. Keep a lookout for trivia and prizes at the table outside of your lunch period all next week. An important event is coming up at the end of the month. STARS will host the Out of Darkness Walk for Suicide Awareness and Prevention. Hey y'all, STARS Counseling is doing a suicide prevention walk called Out of the Darkness Walk on Saturday, April 30th from 12 to 2. It is free and anybody can join. I think it would be a good opportunity because everybody has struggles. I have a lot of struggles. I've struggled with a lot. And when people do these type of things and have fundraisers for suicide prevention for someone who has struggled with it, it shows that people care, people love you, people are there for you, and they support you through everything. And I think it would be a good opportunity for people to join and to go. So I encourage y'all to go and join on Saturday, April 30th from 12 to 2. I'll see y'all there. The Color Guard team has looked amazing this year. We caught up with them for their final competition this weekend. SCGC is proud to present the Centennial High School Winter Guard. We are at SCGC's final competition at Spring Hill High School. It's a championship color guard competition. Um, it's kind of uh, color guards from all over the county and also from all over the country. Uh, we have from uh, like Atlanta, Kentucky, Georgia, everywhere. We just performed Barista Amore and it was the song Taylor the Latte Boy. Carter <laughs> is in love with Taylor and he made her a triple copy and she mistakes it for love. It's a very much obsessive coordination of movement. Um, she just is psycho, basically, and she is in love with this guy, and he like doesn't want anything to do with her. Um, but it's really fun. Uh, we just wanted to have a really fun, relaxed, funny show this year. In the fall, we had a very dark, witchy like kind of show, Spellbound. and so yeah, it's called Spellbound. And so this year, we wanted to do something more uplifting, light, funny. Um, just to give an audience something to enjoy and laugh at. This is our very last show that we're ever going to do. Um, so it was a lot. It's very emotional. It's been one of the best experiences of my life and by far like the core memory of my entire high school career. This probably has been the best part of senior year for me. Coming in, the camaraderie, all of it. It's amazing. That's your news headlines. Now back to you. Thanks, Madison. The girls' flag football team scored a big win this Sunday, and this weekend, they're looking to do it again. So I'm here with today. Ty Cooper. Tyra Petway. Emma Slack. So I heard that y'all got a big win over the weekend. How do y'all feel about that? It's great. Feels good. Love it. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> so when is y'all next game and the location and the time, if you can? Sunday, Centennial High School. At 2 and 3 against Nolansville and Independence. All right, be there Sunday, 2-3 and three for Nolansville and Indy. Go Cougs. It's been a huge week for hockey. Two members of the CHS hockey team played in the national championships. All right, we're here with Dylan Williams. He's on the Nashville Junior Predators hockey team, and they just got back from nationals in California, so why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, it was a good time up in California uh, with Thomas. <laughs> um, you know, we were just ripping top cheese almost every time, you know, just couldn't get away from the top cheese every time. Uh, it was fun. Uh, last year, we've gone there about four times, so it was a good way to end it. Did you like it in California? Not really. <laughs> Why not? Uh, just not the place for me. <laughs> All right, here with Thomas Verbal, who just played in the U.S. National Hockey Championships. Why don't you tell us about your season and just how everything went this weekend, too? Um, our season was really good. We won our league. We went undefeated. Then we won states to go to nationals. And the tournament started off rough. We played pretty bad. And then we just kind of picked it up randomly and beat out the best teams and lost in the championship. And yeah, it's sad. All right, thank you. CHS art students are feeling the heat. And they're getting all fired up for those latest art projects. So I'm here with today. Hi, I'm Renee Gary, Mrs. Gary, the art teacher, one of them. Okay, and Ms. Gary, what are we doing today, or what have we been doing in art class? We're actually finishing up ceramics, uh, the unit that I think is the most popular, just because kids get to make something out of clay, and then it dries to bone dry, which you see right here. And then I put it in the kiln. This is the final result, though, after it's been glazed. So that's what they're working on right now. 
So we, well, let's rewind a little bit. This is in leather hard stage, probably almost a little past that. That just means that the water's starting to evaporate and it gets a little harder. And as soon as it becomes more bone dry, then it looks very, okay. very, it looks very light gray like this. There's still moisture, but you can't see it. There's no vo visible moisture evident. It's been fired at least one time in the kiln. And now once it cools down, it'll be ready to glaze. So you'd say like this area over here is like the first stage and this is the second. It's a little hot and fired. And then, right. Or first, second, and then third right here. Yeah, you, I guess you could say it that way. But they all have to be completely bone dry. That means that there's still moisture. But like I said before, it's not visible. It's not until they get fired that all the moisture is literally vacuumed or sucked out of that piece and they turn white. So who am I here with today? Seth Burnett. And Seth, what do you got going on? What did you, you make in our, our class? I made a pinch pot. And it's the first of the three clay things we made. And it's the smallest one we made. And uh, what would you put over after it got like it was in the Kelman fired? I put glaze on it and wax on the bottom so it didn't get uh, wa glaze on the bottom. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Hi. I'm here with Nika Duncan. So what do you do for a living? Well, I like making music. It's pretty fun. It's a good place to do it, Nashville, you know, so yeah. What kind of music do you make? Oh gosh, so many, too many different kinds of things. Um, personally, I like to make a lot of the pop stuff, but I have a project with my dad that we make a more cinematic focused kind of sync world type vibe. <laughs> and you have a song called Empire, is that correct? I do, yeah, that's right. Uh, what inspired you to make the song? Well that's a long story but basically I was given a Spanish project and I had to make an art piece based on Napoleon Bonaparte so I decided to write a song about him and I released it so yeah. Did you expect the song to do well as your first song? No I thought it would just be like an out kind of like okay first release let's go but it's actually I mean obviously for an independent artist it hasn't I mean it's done pretty well because with no support it's kind of hard to get a lot of traction but I'm really happy with how it's gone and what are some of your biggest inspirations to make music my dad which is cheesy but he's definitely inspired me to do a lot of the things that I'm doing in my spare time and just kind of like you know. and uh, where can people find you um, Spotify, Apple Music, I think I've got a few things on YouTube, but yeah, that's it. All right, thank you. That's all our time for now. Have a great weekend, and always, go Cougs.